Hey guys, welcome back to Lipwrecked, and we're about to watch the third episode of The Last of Us. Okay, so we're three episodes in, and I'm very happy to say that I'm really digging the show. Um, you know, sometimes shows become really popular or hyped and sometimes they're just not my type of show like wednesday so i'm really happy that this is actually my type of show but yeah so we're three episodes in and i see nick offerman in the thumbnail and i really only know him as ron swanson from parks and rec but i've only ever seen bits of parks and rec so i'm not super familiar with nick offerman but i do know nine gag uh loves him because I see clips of him from Parks and Rec from time to time. And so, yeah, that's really as far as my familiarity with him goes. So, I don't know. I'm curious to see how he would do in a show like this. But I trust him. You know, they, the casting directors have really done a good job with everyone so far. So, there's no reason to doubt them now. So, apparently now we're, we're heading to Bill and Frank's. Because that's what Tess said. To bring Ellie to Bill and Frank's, they're going to take care of her. Um, so I'm curious how that's going to pan out. And now it's just going to be Joel and Ellie. It's really a shame that we lost Tess so, so early. I really wanted, like I said, I really wanted to see more of her. Because I was just getting attached to her character. And that's a testament to the show. Because we've only been, I've only been watching the show for two episodes. Now I'm about to watch the third episode, but I've only been exposed to these characters for two episodes. But even in the first episode with Sarah, I was already attached to her, and the the show managed managed to do that. So that's really impressive. It's still a shame that we don't get to see Tess anymore. But you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. We're about to, I'm about to play the, the episode. Well, let's hope it's a good one. Oh, it's already the intro. There's no flashback. Establishing flashback. You know when a show is good, you don't want to skip the intro, the opening sequence. I felt the same way with um, Game of Thrones when it was still good. I watched all of the opening sequence in Breaking Bad, all five seasons. I did the same thing with Dexter when it was still good till season four. But once the show goes bad, like Game of Thrones did or Dexter, Jesus, all of a sudden you just want to get, you just want to skip the intro. His knuckles are still effed up. Why do people do this in rivers? He's not speaking to her. Only I've been in the woods. More bugs than I thought. <laughs> but it's nice. But it's nice though. Look, I've been thinking about. I want your sorry. I wasn't gonna say I'm sorry. Nobody made you a test take me. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. It really wasn't her fault. Only Joel and Tess knew what was going to be in the museum. Are Bill and Frank nice? Frank is. Why'd you get that scar on your head? Only Frank is nice? What? Is it something lame? Someone shot at me and missed. See, that's cool. Is she back? <laughs> she seems so interested in getting shot at. I missed too. You know, seeing as it's just the two of us, I was thinking I should no. pro- She really wants a gun. Problem is, if she knows how to shoot, Why you have stuff here? is this a set oh, or an actual location? It looks really good. You ever play this one? Mortal Kombat. You forgot what you pushed. No, I'm just zeroing in on it. It's been a couple of years. Is there anything bad in here? Just you. Ah, getting funnier. Even if it's been a couple of years, how do you forget where you left your stash? 
I mean, it's one location. And also, how would Joel know if there's anything bad in here if he hasn't been in here for two years? There's gonna be something bad down there. What if there's a bunch of clickers down there? I guess you would hear them clicking. You know, Ellie's exploratory nature is what got her attacked in the first place at that mall. Now she's really putting herself in danger again. Pearl? I knew it. But can I say that was a very natural reaction from Bella Ramsey? At least send her some rubble. Go alert Joel. What's she doing getting closer? What are you doing, Ellie? And it's just letting her do it. It looks really dry, like... It looks like cotton. Same thing I said when Iburatna sliced open that dead woman in the previous episode. Ellie. Picked over my ass. Oh, it's Tampax. Thanks to the subtitles. Makes it mostly useless. Well, if you're just gonna leave it there. No. Like Joel will really give her a rifle. A handgun, sure. A rifle? Heck no. Yeah. You fly one of those? A few times, sure. Dude, you got to go up in the sky. Yeah, well, so did they. Exactly. So everything came crashing down in one day? Pretty much. Cordyceps mutated. Some of it got into the food supply, probably a basic ingredient like flour or sugar. Yeah, I saw that video about the certain brands flour. of flour that were sold everywhere, all across the country, across the world. Pancake mix. So there's a possibility that Joe would have gotten infected if Sarah was able to make pancakes. Or even if they, it makes more sense than monkeys. ate the neighbor's biscuits Thanks. and cookies. What? I cut across the woods here. There's stuff up there you shouldn't see. Well, now I have to see. I don't want you to. <laughs> of course, she's a kid. Can it hurt me? No. Be too honest, man. Should have said axe murderer. He's starting to become uh, fatherly to her. Whatever it was, I think it's gone. Do cordyceps survive in extreme heat? Like when you cook pancakes, wouldn't they die? Or is that how they th they thrive? Mass grave. About a week after outbreak day, soldiers told you you were going to a QZ, and you were, if there was room. If there wasn't. Wow. Why not just leave and be? Dead people can't be infected. That's effed up. He looks like a kid. It's a literal baby. And why are they showing us this? They should have just left them alone. If they were gonna bomb anyway. Or did they not do that in countrysides, just big cities? Like they said. This is... This is Nick Offerman. Is he gonna save them? Or gonna try to save them? Not today, you New World Order jackboot fucks. Oh, I think it's just hiding. Required to evacuate by 8 p.m. That's a nice hidden entryway to the basement. I'd like one of those. Is this the same day? I wouldn't go out yet. What if the military comes back and 
double checks. Home Depot, really boarded up. Is this all in the same day? I think this is just a montage of him gathering supplies. I don't think this is all in the same day. It can't be. Wine. Go get video games. So the world ended in 2003. I guess go get a PS2. So this entire subdivision is just his. No one had the same idea. He even has his own greenhouse. And chickens. This man is set. Honestly, if I, if this was me, I would just make noodles. <laughs> and eggs. I don't think I would bother with fine dining. But that's just me. But good for him. Is that a shotgun shell? He has his own reality TV network. He even has his own gate. And it's remote control. This man knows what's up. Four years. Wow. Just surviving on his own. Someone fell in his trap. I bet you this is Frank. No. Why did you take that long to answer? <laughs> exactly. I thought about lying for some reason, but the reason didn't come. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to get to Boston. It's just, just a bruise. Honestly, I would make him strip just to make sure that he has no bites. Also, Baltimore. QZ only lasted for four years. They must be really lucky down at Boston. Make him strip. Or at least, you know, test him like they did Ellie. Stop there. Like the Fireflies tested Ellie. Count to what wanted. Oh. I guess he has one of those. This guy almost looks like Joel from the game. Boston from what I've way. seen of Joel. You can make it by nightfall. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten in two days. Doesn't sound very long out loud, does it? Two days without having anything to eat is a long time. First, my name's Frank. This is not an Arby's. <laughs> Arby's didn't have free lunch. It was a restaurant. Why would you point that out? He has a gun pointed straight at you. So is infection instant? Like, if you get tested for, and it comes out green, is it 100% sure green? Because you know, some infections could take a while to register. I would still check him for bites. That door is not even closed. Sure. Sure. Thank you. This is amazing. He's enjoying that hot water. Where's this? Where's Bill's family? This house does not look like a Bill house, you know. Looks very um, ornate. Why is he being weird? Why is Bill being weird? Was he afraid that he would steal something? Is that rabbit? I've never had r rabbit. But you know, have some rice with that to get you really full. I know rice is just empty carbs, but me being Asian, I can't help it. A meal is never a meal if there's no rice. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Everything tastes good when you're starving. Yeah, but not like this. I wonder what it tastes like. A man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. I know, I don't seem like the type. No, you do. What? You pair a rabbit? I bet Bill is really is somewhat relieved to have human interaction again after four years. <laughs> Honestly, that oh, didn't look you. much to me, especially if you haven't eaten for two days. Thank you. So I guess I'll be going then. He's not going. They're going to become friends. Because Joe and Nelly are going to Bill and Frank's. But first, I don't recognize these characters from the game, by the way. I've been staring at this the whole time. 1948. Wow. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. <laughs> these aren't yours. My mother's. Could uh, you uh, not? Oh, so he lived with his mother. <laughs> what happened to his mother? Oh. Linda Ronstadt. I don't know this artist. Am I a peasant? <laughs> okay, even though I don't know this artist, it sounds like he's going too fast. He needs to slow down a bit. Even Bill's not liking it. <laughs> no, thank you. Sorry. Not this song. Not this song. Well, I'm not a professional. He's gonna play. I'll leave. You're not gonna leave, Frank. Love will abide. See, it's slower. It's supposed to be slower. Take things in stride. But there's no one at my side. And <laughs> time washes clean. All of a sudden, I'm feeling something. He sounds really lonely. Someone told me why. I think I'm gonna love for a long, long time. I have a feeling where this is going. So, who's the girl? There is no girl. I know. You just met. But yeah, I had a feeling this is this was where it was going. It must be a relief. After having had no human interaction for four years. What's your name? <laughs> they already kissed. He doesn't even know his name yet. Go take a shower, Bill. Okay. <laughs> I hope Frank doesn't just use him. But I guess not, because Joel said Frank is nice. <laughs> Go take a shower, Bill. I'm gonna wait in your bed naked. This is the first day! But I guess after that long, you just can't wait to feel human warmth, you know? So I get it. Frank looks familiar though, and not because I think he somewhat looks like Joel from the game. It looks familiar, but I can't place, to place him right now. Simple things. Okay. What simple things? Before I do, I want you to know that I'm not a whore. <laughs> I don't have sex for lunches. I'm gonna stay for a few more days. A few more days? You're gonna stay forever. Clearly, they're compatible because 
Joel and Tess know them. Okay, ca calm down. <laughs> oh, fuck you! Three come years. On. 2010. Do I ask for things? Ever? Give me a fucking break. Lovers quarrel. The government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, yeah, now, but not then. <laughs> are you sure? I'm just joking. I am asking. I'm joking. Some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower. That's all. Yep. You say resource management? I understand, Frank, though. So help me, I will run through one of your trips. They're holed up in this subdivision this whole time. You have to find something to busy yourself with. Just let me love it the way I want to. It's gonna make Frank feel better. It's kind of like cleaning your house or doing chores. Oh. Not the stupid ones, just the, the wine shop and the furniture store. And the clothing boutique. And the mall, and the park, and the playground. But we are gonna have friends. But if you have the means to do it, Excuse why not? Me? Just don't overdo it, you know? Well, I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. You what? Well, this is it Tess? Is just, it's amazing. Right? Mm -hmm. It's Tess and, and Joel. Put that gun away. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too? I'm <laughs> I just say, uh, gun aside, which I get. Well, how nice this is to have a civilized Tess is back. A beautiful place. It's been so long. Even if and it's just a flashback. Say, thank you. If we don't end up working together, we are working together. So they really aged Anator well, huh? You because she looks really young. Thank you. Yes. Frank! Frank! <laughs> Even Tess is not listening to Bill. She was like, thank you. I understand. If mine. See, Joel doesn't want to say it. If into our situation, I wouldn't be happy either. There's stuff we have in the QZ that you don't have here. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. And I thought Joel was paranoid in the previous episode. That fence has got a year on it, tops. Galvanized wire already started to corrode. If I can get you 10 spools of high tensile aluminum, last you the rest of your life. Lives. Did Bill already use up the entire Home sure Depot? Yeah, I mean it's not a gift. You come back, we'll trade. Oh, and I had this idea that we should uh, we should use codes for the radio in case anyone's listening. Oh, oh so he came up with the codes. Fedra's never going to come up here. And you're well protected against stray infected. Look at the way Frank is walking. There will be raiders. I just realized Frank is being played by the same guy who played the hotel manager in The White Lotus, season one. Because I recognize the way he walks. He was a, a hotel manager in that show. And he walked a lot. It's so funny that Pick that's how I recognized him. So three more years, 2013. Huh? Not that. <laughs> he said, I've got something to show you. Huh? Not that. What is, what is that? A rare flower bed? Ready? Yes. <laughs> oh! I traded Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. Which gun? A little one. What are those? Oh, strawberries. I've never had strawberries, by the way. That aren't from the grocery. <laughs> that must be really good strawberry. If that was the kind of reaction it got out of Nick Offerman. What are those things flying about? I'm sorry. Getting older faster than you. Older means we're still here. Yeah, exactly. I was never afraid before you showed up. 
That was really sweet. They've been together for six years now. Now he's afraid because he's got something to lose. No, not on the strawberries. <laughs> right. Oh no. Rain, lightning. You can just tell from the setup shot. Where's Bill? Is he down in the basement? Bill! 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 Oh, he's already out there. Someone shoot him. Bill, what? Bill, this is a video game. You're supposed to be behind cover. He's really out in the open. Get shot. Oh shit. I think I get it. Bill's thinking somewhat Im irrationally because he's afraid of losing Frank. He dove headfirst instead of thinking it through. Are we gonna lose Bill? All things considered, Frank is handling this really well. Stop moving. Did we lose Bill? What? Why is Frank in a wheelchair? Did he get shot? Ten years later. So this is current time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like he can't move on his own, or at least not fully move on his own. What happened to Frank? What happened to Frank? Even that bag is having a hard time opening. I think he has a mess. Um, multiple, multiple sclerosis. Same thing Selma Blair and Christina Applegate have. And also the purpose for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge was to make people aware of what people with MS feel. Look at that portrait of Bill. Poor Frank. Took most of the night. I don't want you falling asleep in the chair. Maybe you just I wanted to be in control for once. Blue. Bill, I'm not fighting about it. Back in I bed. I promise you I'm gonna stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. I've made up my mind. I think it's a mess. MS. So that means he's suffering. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the every day was a wonderful gift from God speech. I've had a lot of bad days. But I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. And we'll get married. Then you will crush all of these up. Put them in my wine. I will drink it. And I will fall asleep in your arms. Well, Bill, I understand Frank's decision, but it's a huge thing to ask uh, someone. I can't. Do you love me? Of course he does. Yes. Then love me the way I want you to. I don't think I'd be able to live with myself if I agreed to something like that. 
watching someone you love and care for. This is sad, man. This music was in an arrival. looking at the dusty mantle that's no longer dusty it's rabbit again like their first meal I would be bawling my eyes out the entire time knowing what's what my partner's about to do you know like they're there and all of a sudden they're gone and you know it you know when it's gonna happen you never get to see them smile, laugh, cry. So we're really losing Frank. So Joel and Tess probably know Frank has MS because where else would they have gotten the medicine from? And the wheelchair. Well, that's a lot. Bill is really putting a, st a strong face for Frank's sake. Bill is gonna become really bitter after this. Look at him clenching his jaw. He's thinking, Frank really did it. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. Fuck, we're losing both of them? And you were my purpose. Jesus. But from an objective point of view, it's incredibly romantic. It is, but that means we're losing both of them. Take me to bed. How the, how the hell did they manage to get me attached to the to these characters in one episode and then to just kill them off? Well, we're sure dead. Bill? Frank? You know, I think Ellie sometimes needs to tone down her quips a bit. Because that what the fuck when they entered the house was really not necessary. What's a what the fuck about this place? And so that was just the wind. It's from Bill. So they're dead. I feel kind of drained, to be honest. Because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> I leave you all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep. Tess. Oh, Joel can't c catch a break. You lost Tess. You will now he's lost his friends. Why would you crumple the letter? Honestly, I would keep it. So Bill just gave Joel the bunker code. I feel weak, man. We lost both Frank and Bill. I think Frank would have liked Ellie. And Bill would have been annoyed by her. 
but we will never get to see that. Show me your arm. I just finished making a truck battery. It's charging right now. I have a brother out in Wyoming. He used to be a firefly. So that answers my question about Tommy being a firefly. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you gotta follow. You don't bring up Tess ever. Matter of fact, we can just keep our histories to ourselves. Why was the music on? If you didn't reset the countdown every few weeks, this playlist would run over the radio. So I guess the 80s music played because Bill was no longer around to reset the timer. And it was to signal Joe and Tess that something went horribly wrong. Hot water. So I guess they were already dead before we even left the QZ. Bill would have been annoyed by her. She's already breaking things. It's a gun. It's Frank's gun from from the night with the raiders. Ellie, you had better know how to shoot a gun before you handle that. Well, don't you look pretty. I bet she also has two grenades in that bag. Why not? You're just gonna drive in silence the entire time? Oh no, wait. Don't no, leave it. Leave it. Oh, this is good. This is Linda Ronstadt. Do you know who Linda Ronstadt is? No, oh, it, it's Bill and Frank's song. Oh man. What did he say, oh man? I don't know this artist, but it's a nice song. Their open window. To try and change your mind. To try and change your mind. And Frank didn't change his mind. Murray Bartlett was the guy from White Lotus. I'm gonna listen to this song after this. So that was the last episode. Oh, no. <laughs> that was the third episode of The Last of Us. I feel kind of drained from that episode. It's a sad. It's a beautiful episode, but the outcome is sad. And the song had a line where it said, "To try and change your mind." Which Bill did try to change Frank's mind about, you know, doing it. And Frank didn't do it. But I do understand Frank's decision, though. Because if that was a mess, I'm not sure if I should look it up. I was right. Frank actually has ALS, or multiple sclerosis. We didn't necessarily want to specify the illness for the audience. It was either MS or early ALS, but it was a degenerative neuromuscular disorder. So yeah, I was right. Because I know Selma Blair has it and she's managing it as best as she can. And she's mentioned there are some days that are worse and some days that are better. And also Christina Applegate recently got diagnosed with the same thing so frank was suffering and i guess he also saw that he was holding bill back and i'm sure bill didn't feel that way that he was being held back but it was just what frank was feeling you know like maybe he didn't want to see bill being held back and so that's why he made the decision because he was already suffering anyway and it was just gonna get worse especially in the in the pandemic like even before the pandemic even in today's world having multiple sclerosis would be tough so what more if you're in a pandemic you know so i do understand this decision it, it's just it sucks that he had multiple sclerosis and it sucks that he had he felt like he had to you know give up and I was wondering 
what Bill was going to become without Frank. But even that we don't get to see because Bill also decided to give up because he's old, he's content. In other words, he didn't want to live without Frank, which like Frank said, from an objective point of view, it's very romantic, but that doesn't make it less sad. When he was leading up to Frank ending it, I was kind of thinking maybe Bill will team up with Joel and Ellie, but he'll be bitter, you know, because of his loss. But I guess that's not where they took the show. So now it's still just Joel and Ellie. But on a positive note, it seems like, it looks like Joel is starting to become caring towards Ellie. Because he seemed fatherly this episode. Like even in the beginning, there, there's, there's something I don't want you to see. I don't want you to see it, you know? With the tape at the end there, put it back. So, he's almost like a father to her now. So I guess now, we're going to have a road trip to go find Tommy. I hope we don't lose Tommy as well, next episode. But on that note, it was nice seeing Tess again. And she looked really young. That's what Anna Torv looks like now. But I didn't real realize how much they aged her up in the first couple of episodes. You know, because there was a drastic difference here in episode three but yeah it was nice seeing her again and i was hoping to see more interaction between joel and tess and bill and frank but damn man now i'm gonna go listen to that song by linda ronstadt and this was episode three long long time please like comment and subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notifications on new uploads. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.